In today's video, we are going to be talking about quantities and dimensional analysis. Quantities are any physical observable that can be measured. We have two types, the fundamental and the derived. Fundamental quantities are those basic, rudimental, foundational quantities and they can stand alone. Now, example of that is mass. The SI unit of mass is kilogram and the symbol for kilogram is K and G. That's KG. We have dimension of mass being capital letter M. Now, the next one is length. Measured in meters. The symbol for meters is small letter M. It talks about length, so in dimension is capital letter L. We also have time, which is measured in seconds. Seconds is depicted as small letter S. Then, which talks about time, the dimension is capital letter T. We also have Kelvin, we have current, which is measured in ampere. And we have a lot also, but for this class, we're just going to stop here. Now, the next is derived quantities. These are quantities that cannot stand alone. You obtain them by the combination of two or more similar or different fundamental quantities. Remember, fundamental quantities cannot be obtained by combination of any. No, they stand alone. They originate, they are basic on their own. While derived are gotten or are obtained by when you combine two or more, they can be different, they can be the same fundamental quantities you can now get. Example is area. Area is gotten by length times breadth. Length, let's use L, is a type of length. Breadth is also length. The unit for length is meters. So M, the unit for breadth is also meters. So M times M gives you M squared. So if we represent the dimension of meters, is capital letter L, so L squared. What it means is that dimension shows you the fundamental makeup of every de uh, derived quantity. Dimension shows you the skeleton, the building blocks of every derived quantities. So what that means is that when we look at area, you say, ah, area, area. When dimension looks at area, dimension tells you that it's just length times length. It's just length squared. Okay, the next one is volume. Volume is length times width or breadth times height. This is a type of length measured in meters. This is also a type of length measured in meters. This is also a type of length measured in meters, which gives you m. 1, 1, 1, which is 3, according to law of indices. When we are multiplying similar quantities, we pick one of them and add their powers. So, 1 here, 1 here, 1 here. We just pick 1 and add 3. You can see my video in laws of indices for more clarifications. So, the dimension of volume becomes L3, L cubed. That is the dimension of this. Now, let's look at someone else, like density. Density is given by mass over volume. Mass is measured, that's the unit, is measured in kilogram, kg. Volume, we've already said that it is m3 so which means according to laws of indices we have kg m3 coming up becomes m minus 3 if we are to put it in dimension it will be kg talks about mass m is meters talks about length minus 3 that is the dimension of density we can also look at another thing, another derived quantity, another, that, which is another example. Let's look at velocity. Velocity is displacement over time. 
Now, displacement is a type of distance, is a kind of a kind of length. So the unit becomes meters over time, which is measured in seconds. So we can still write it as meters per second. Now, if we are to put it in dimension, it becomes meters talks about length seconds talks about time minus one if we talk about acceleration another example acceleration acceleration is velocity over time remember velocity on its own is meters per second so which means this thing can be meters per second over another second according to laws of indices that's the units according to the laws of indices when someone down comes up it carries a minus sign so this thing becomes equal to m s minus one plus minus one which gives you m s minus two therefore if we are to put it in dimension it will give us m stands for length t stands for time minus two so these are some of the simple ones let's look at force force is given by mass times acceleration mass is measured in kg that's the unit. Then times acceleration, we've already established that it is m s minus 2. Now, what we will have is this is mass in dimension. This is mass, while this stands for length. This stands for time. So this is the dimension for force. Now, another quantity we can look at is energy. If you call it energy, you can still call it work done. Work done is given by force multiplied by the distance force we've already established that it is kg the unit kg ms minus 2 times the distance distance is measured in length distance is measured in meters which is m so this is m multiplying another m 1 plus 1 which will give you kg m squared s minus 2 which will give you a kg st uh, stands for that's the dimension kg stands for mass m meter stands for length t minus 2 stands for time minus 2 so this is the dimension for force or work done now we all, we can also have others like power power is given by energy over time that's a formula for power now we've already established that the unit for energy on its own is kg m m squared s squared over this is on its own s s so if we bring s up it will carry minus one which will give us kg m squared s two times s minus one minus two minus one will give you minus one which will give you kg m squared s minus one Therefore, if we put it in dimension, it becomes, kg stands for mass, capital letter M, eh, small letter M, meters, stands for length, while 
S stands for time minus one, so which is the which is for power. Another one we can look at is the word pressure, the quantity pressure. Pressure is given by force over area. Now you can pause this video and try this on your on your own. Now. When you have tried it, we have to continue. You can pause the video and try it by yourself. You remember that we have already solved for force. And we said that force for the unit is kg m s minus 2. That is the unit for force. Now, we bring in area. Area on its own is... Remember, we said area is m squared length times length or length times breadth or length times width so both of them length length now this one comes up according to laws of indices it will become kg m s minus 2 times m minus 2 when you resolve that or simplify that you are going to be having kg m one is here one minus two is going to give you minus one s minus two so if we are to put it in dimension we are going to have kg stands for mass meter stands for length minus one s seconds stands for time minus two so that is pressure thank you very much do not forget to subscribe for these videos for more updates you can also link up or click the notification bell this is coming to you from inspire can tutorial thank you see you again